All righty, well, my next guest is not happy about the fee increases and says it's small businesses that are getting hurt the most. Lloyd Chapman is president of the American Small Business League. Well, Lloyd, I'm sure you just heard that interview. Well, what are your thoughts? <laughs> I think he hit the nail on the head. Uh, we're in the middle of a recession. Uh, the banks got, was it, $2.5 trillion of our tax dollars to increase access to capital for small businesses. They're making billions. Unemployment's going up, and access to capital to small businesses have been reduced. So the, the complete opposite of what we were told was going to happen is happening. And all the politicians you know, went on television and said, we need to pass this legislation to increase access to capital for small businesses, and it's not happening. Lloyd, why are small businesses so voiceless? I, you know, almost all jobs that are being created are being created by small businesses. And yet, the, the only thing I've heard so far this year is $15 billion, you know, toward the SBA, and that's it. Well, that's a good question. That's one of my favorite questions. Why are small businesses so voiceless? Um, let's look at the groups that uh, say they represent small businesses. The U.S. Chamber of Commerce says they have 3 million members and 96 percent have less than 100 employees. What are they saying about this? The NFIB, I believe their websites, they claim to be the voice of small business. Where are they? So, uh, yes, yeah, small businesses don't have a voice because all the groups that supposedly represent small businesses in my opinion, are actually funded by Fortune 500 corporations and lobby for Fortune 500 corporations. And the fact that these things are happening to small businesses, I think, is proof that small businesses don't have the representation uh, in this country and in Congress that they should have. Now, having said that, uh, where do you see the fortunes of small businesses going for the rest of the year? Well, you know, not good. Unemployment's going up. Uh, your previous guest just talked about the fact that interest rates are going up. Uh, access to capital appears to be being reduced. You know, Business Week and the New York Times have reported on that. So, uh, in fact, quite frankly, uh, just last week, uh, some federal programs for small businesses are being dismantled. So it, it, it doesn't look good for small businesses uh, to me for the rest of the year when you look at the federal programs, some of them being dismantled, the uh, uh, access to capital actually right. being reduced. So it doesn't look so good. Lloyd, uh, Lloyd, on this thing, uh, for instance, uh, access to capital, what are your members telling you? What are some of the stories, some of the, you know, some of these gut-wrenching stories that you hear that the American public should be hearing? All right. I've got a member that's uh, been in business for 20 years. They um, uh, have one of the best credit ratings you can possibly have. And American Express cut their credit card limit in half for no reason with no explanation. Did that, um, did that put them I'm out of business? People. Is that hurting them, or are they yes. going to go out of business? Oh, they're not going to go out of business, but it's not helping. Right. In fact, quite frankly, when I talked to this person the other day, they said, you know, where does he increase access to capital? You know, we spent $2.5 trillion to increase access to capital, and what I'm hearing every day is a reduction in access to capital. Lloyd, so, Lloyd, um, Lloyd uh, thank you very much. Uh, I, listen, I hear these horror stories all the time to uh, keep up the good work. All right, thank you. All righty.